from the 1990-91 NHL season all the way up until the 2015-16 season, the Detroit Red Wings did not miss the playoffs. This incredible 25-year streak was, at the time, the longest in North American professional sports and the third longest in NHL history behind only the Boston Bruins and Chicago Blackhawks. During this Red Wings stretch of dominance, they were able to lift the Stanley Cup four times, and they even coined the nickname of Hockey Town USA for the city of Detroit. But, like all dynasties, the Wings eventually did fall, and were forced to go into a rebuild that started during the 2016-17 season. It's now the 2021-22 season, and Detroit is in their sixth year of the rebuild. And as bad as some of those years may have been for you Wings fans, it looks like the team is heading back in the right direction right now. Since the 2017 season, the Wings have drafted in the top 10 five years in a row, picking up some high caliber young players who are now finally starting to make an impact on the team. In addition, they've made many other picks in the first and second rounds of each draft and have made some really solid trades in the past few seasons. And before we go any further, if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and liking the video. Currently 97% of my viewers are not subbed and I really appreciate all of your support. In the 2017 draft, they picked up Michael Rasmussen with their ninth overall pick. Rasmussen is looking like he projects more as a bottom six center at the NHL level, but is still just 22 years old and has time to prove what he can do. In 2018, the Wings selected sixth overall and got winger Philip Zadina with their first choice. This is now Zadina's fourth season playing pro hockey, and each year he has continued to get better and better, developing more confidence and getting more opportunity in the lineup. This same draft, Detroit would also select center Joe Valeno late in the first round and Jonathan Berggren early in the second round. During the 2019 draft, the Wings picked up what many would consider their best prospect, who they also got with the sixth overall selection, a defenseman by the name of Moritz Seider. Sider, along with a player that they would select in 2020, may be in the running for Calder Trophy by the end of this year, if they continue on their stellar start. In 2020, the Wings selected with their highest pick since 1990, and snagged winger Lucas Raymond with the fourth overall selection. He is the kid that, along with Mo Sider, should be in the running for NHL's Rookie of the Year this season. Detroit would also pick up William Molinder and Theodore Niederbach, in the second round that year. And finally, during the 2021 draft, the Wings again would have two selections in the first round, picking up defenseman Simon Edvinson with the sixth overall pick, and then goaltender Sebastian Kosa at number 15. Both are guys that the organization obviously think very highly of and should be major pieces on this Wings team in the near future. During this stretch of years, the Wings also picked up many other young prospects, Comment down below if I missed anyone that you think might eventually pop off. Detroit also made some big time trades and acquisitions recently, including when they shipped off winger Anthony Mantha to Washington in exchange for 25 year old arguable star winger Jacob Verona, as well as a first rounder and 2022 second rounder and throw in Richard Ponick. The Wings also acquired 25 year old goalie Alex Nedeljkovic from Carolina for a third round pick in Jonathan Bernier. And although Nadelkovic hasn't been quite as good as he was last season, he's also playing behind a much different defensive unit and overall team than the one he played for last year. And the Wings also have some already established players who are hungry for playoff hockey, like their 25-year-old captain and hometown kid Dylan Larkin, 26-year-old winger Tyler Bertuzzi, who's off to a really strong start to the year, and 24-year-old Philip Hronik, who is starting to find his way as a solid two-way defenseman at the NHL level. This Detroit Red Wings group is one that is finally starting to come together, and it looks like all the pieces are in place for a very solid team that could be a contender yet again in just a few more seasons. Detroit is showing the fight that they have early so far this year, and now that some of the exciting young prospects are with the big club and making a huge impact, it is a really exciting time for the team and the city. Steve Eiserman and the entire management and scouting staff have been doing a very good job in these last few seasons at finding talent, making smart moves, and sticking to a plan that should pay off very soon. 
Let me know down in the comments if you agree with me that the wings will be scary good very soon when everything continues to come together. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.